Hey guys, how you doing? It's John again. I'm posting a short video discussing Jesus Christ and the story we were told of his death and crucifixion. And uh, you know, being that Easter just passed, and um, the story itself is is a lie. It's not the truth. People believe that it's the truth. <clears throat> when I grew up and I went to church and saw and go and see Jesus and he's up there looking, you know, and I believed it. I believed it was true and real and got on my knees and prayed and thought that what I was hearing was right. And um, years later when uh, I was hurt and they had a whole bunch of catastrophe come into my life and um, was near death and God saved me and I beheld his presence and I and uh, I realized that what I was told was not the truth and um, so and that God was alive and he's not only not only is Jesus alive but he is God himself and you know, he is the light of the world and um, he saved me, and it was at a very hard time in my life, and um, I had problems with the police and friends, and, you know, I thought I had all these friends, and, you know, I had my own crew and everything, I thought that they were all solid and good, and I found out the hard way that, um, that they were not, and, um, you know, how unreliable people were, you know, it was incredible that, um, the way that really I people attacked me and kicked me when I was down and hurt instead of helping to lift me up and the system itself just cut, basically came in on me but uh you know it was very painful but I you know I, so I was given a gift out of it and that was reve um, revealing to me the truth about God and that basically Jesus is alive and that he is the father of all things and that he creates all life he's spirit you know, so Easter passed and, you know, I go to, I've gone to church and even knowing what I know, I still go to church sometimes and just to see what people are saying and hear and, uh, you know, there's many people that believe in Jesus out there and, um, God does forgive and heal people for their sins, but when you sin and fall into sin, it's you that pays. No one else is going to pay for your sins. So uh, th this is where the falsehood is coming in because they want to tell you that someone else is going to pay for your sins. But nobody else is going to pay for your sins but you. And if God decides to forgive you, well, he'll forgive you, but, um, you know, you're going to pay and it's not going to be as easy as you think. And depending on the severity of your crimes, you know, it's, God is a righteous judge. But it doesn't matter who you are, you're all, we're all, uh, subject to the law and, and when it's held up to the things we did, and even though you might believe the things you're doing are right or you're doing fighting a war or for your country or against this person, you think it's righteous and you believe it is, doesn't mean that it is. And uh, much like this, you know, the story is phony, there's other stories that are phony too. And much of the news and much of the stuff we're being fed is, is also false. And it's meant to um, divide people against each other and to make them think that they have a right to attack each other and hurt and kill each other because they're, and, you know, divide people, whether it be Muslim or Christian and all this. But really, God, there's only one God and he made us all and he's God of us all. So um, I'm just going to keep it short. And this is my message to you. You know, God sent me here and gave me the message and I'm... I'm giving it to you guys, and you need to wake up and stop letting pe the, being controlled by the media and the television and all this fake information, all this stuff is being staged, almost all of it is phony, and whether it's, you know, racism or the shootings or, if you look at it, they're, you know, they're hiring crisis actors to do all this stuff, and even when they're, when they're showing with these, uh, there's all these shootings, and you look and you see, and there's no blood, and it's just, it's phony. It's, it's nothing but a, uh, a Hollywood movie set. And they're, the people that are doing this stuff, they have no conscience, you know. 
And when the, when the time comes for judgment, God, you're not fooling God. God's looking at it all. If I see it, he's surely seen it. And, um, you know, stop, you know, being cronies to this, to this BS, because in the end, the only one that it's going to hurt is you. And if you fall into the, the falsehoods and believe in lies and phoniness, then that's the world you're going to be stuck in. And um, it's not going to be that pleasant. You might think, oh, yes, and you're putting one over and you're hurting somebody else and you're putting it over. But the only person you're hurting is you. And, uh, you know, your soul and your spirit can be condemned for that stuff. So be aware. And, you know, to all the good people out there, and there are good people out there, I, I, you know, I pray for everyone. And um, I hope that you know, I'm just waiting for really God to straighten all this mess out because I know he's the only one who can. I know men or people are just really lost in their way. And it's a really uh, a bad time in the world, but it's all preparing for for Jesus Christ to come into the world. And the good news I have to tell you is that he's alive and well, and he's you know the, the stories are not true that you've been told. And basically, for those that are are true, that they're going to be very happily rewarded um, when the time comes for him to appear and, and to do uh, judgment and to uh, cast down all these falsehoods because, uh, you know, Christ is the truth and he's about the truth. And, you know, what Antichrist is, is deception. You know, it's lies, falsehood, deceit. And, and that's what we're seeing today. So uh, I wish you all the best. If you have any questions, just, uh, you know, hit me up and uh, I'll talk to you. Okay. Hallelujah. Jai guide.